Ciao a tutti, welcome back to my kitchen. Today, on this new episode, we're visiting Tuscany. This Italian region is known worldwide for its wines like Chianti and its magnificent rolling hills that offer the perfect romantic background. Moreover, Tuscan cuisine is the proof that simple ingredients can be turned into delicious dishes, like today's recipe. Nudi alla Toscana, a gnocchi-like dumpling made with ricotta cheese instead of potatoes. Before we start, remember to subscribe to support my journey through Italian regional recipes. Are you ready? Andiamo! First, let's wash 700 grams or 25 ounces of fresh spinach with cold water in a strainer, in Tuscan dialect. Nudi means naked, and the reason why is because they are made out of the classic ravioli filling but without the pasta to cover them. Next, heat up 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil on high heat and toss in 1 garlic clove. Cook down the spinach in two steps. Be careful as the oil may come out of the pan. Add a generous pinch of salt as this is going to be almost the only time we season this. Once the spinach has reduced a bit, add the rest and stir everything together. Lower the heat and put the lid on and cook for about 15 minutes. Now you can scoop the garlic out. The spinach is ready. Now let's strain it. This vegetation water has a lot of flavor but for this recipe we don't need it otherwise it would be very hard to form the nudie. Put it in a soup or a stock. In a bowl, mix 250 grams of ricotta cheese with the strained spinach. Stir everything together. You can chop up the spinach if you want, but I like to leave them like this. It gives the nudie an extra texture. Use a fork now, it will be easier. Add about 50 grams or a quarter cup of flour and keep stirring. Add 50 grams or a quarter cup of parmesan cheese or Tuscan pecorino. Add a pinch of salt and a good amount of freshly grated nutmeg. Also add one egg. Now for the tricky part. Transfer your dough on a floured surface and start combining everything together by adding 50 grams or a quarter cup of flour. With the help of a bench scraper, work your dough and let it absorb all the flour. We are looking for a firmer consistency, but still fairly wet. Transfer your dough back into the bowl and get ready to shape the nudie. Generously dust your tray with flour. I'm using an ice cream scoop, but a spoon will do just fine. Also, remember to coat your hands with flour. Take a small portion of the dough and gently roll it in your palms to form a bowl. The good thing about this recipe is that you can make the nudie as small or as big as you like for a starter or a main course. Now we're ready for the last step. Bring to a boil a large pot of water and salt it. At the same time, melt 100 grams or 1 cup of unsalted butter on medium-high heat. 
Now that the water is boiling, drop the nudie in and wait until they come up to the surface. Once the barrel is bubbly, add a couple of sage leaves to release all their flavor. The nudie are floating. Immediately transfer them in a sage butter. Toss everything together and baste your nudie to fully coat them in deliciousness. This brown butter will emulsify with the residual water of the nudie and create the perfect sauce. It's time to plate. Arrange your nudie in a circle and cover them in that wonderful sauce and don't forget the sage leaves that have crisped up a little bit. Sprinkle with some parmigiano cheese and some sage to complete the dish. And it's ready! Let's have a taste. I don't know why I'm so serious here. <laughs> this dish doesn't deserve it because it's delicious. It's surprisingly light. The sage brown butter sauce marries well with the spinach. Look at that. It's beautiful. Enjoy and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe if you liked what you saw and discover Italy through its regional recipes. Ciao e alla prossima ricetta!